Hi ladybirds, time for another fun phonics session today for you. So your first challenge today, you will need your whiteboard, your pen, or if you haven't got um, your whiteboard and, and things at home, of course you're allowed to use um, paper or your um, or a little notebook, absolutely fine. Um, your first challenge today is to see if you can have a go at practicing writing a couple of our letters from our letter family, the curly caterpillars. And in the curly caterpillar letter family, there is a k, 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 k. And there is also a o, 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 o. And those are the first two letters I'd like you to practice. Now, if you want a little bit of help about how these letters look, how to start them, then just like I did last week for the um, the robot letters, I've made a, a little video just to um, show you how you have a go at forming these letters. So you might want to watch me have a go at teaching you how to do this. And that video is available to you if, as well, if you would like to watch that one. Right, Ladybirds, once you've had a go at that challenge, we are going to have a little look at revisiting a digraph that we have been learning. Do you remember this digraph? Do you remember what sounds it could make? Well done for trying to tell me at home. Now, I told you before that this one is a very special one because it can make two sounds. They're very, very similar, but they are ever so slightly different in the fact that one sounds a bit of a softer sound and the other sounds a bit of a harder sound. So we have got the It's almost a little bit like a bumblebee, the second one, isn't it? Because it's got that slightly harder vibration in your mouth. Now, both of those ones, like you practiced um, on Tuesday when you were looking in a mirror, your tongue is coming out, but for the soft sound, the very tip of your tongue is just underneath your two front teeth. Whereas for the harder sound, your tongue just comes out a little bit more and just comes out in front of your two teeth. Now I'm going to play this song for you, see if you can sing along and have fun joining in with it again. Okay, ladybirds. Right, we're going to move on now to your challenges today. Okay. Um, now, remember what I showed you yesterday. I said that things can really, really help you when you're doing some of your um, challenges. One of the things that can really help you are your sound mats and your letter families because the letter families help give you that little bit of help um, with what um, how some of your letters look when you're trying to write them down so you might want to um, use some of those and have some of those ready it's the same in all of our phonics sessions really so it's helpful just to have um, these things on hand every time you, you're doing your phonics in that little phonics pack that we made for you um, and again here um, animal words always helpful because you might need them a little bit later. So having your animal words book will help. Okay, ladybirds, right. So first challenge today, and look, there's a little monkey in this challenge. I hope you're not being cheeky monkeys at home. I hope you're being really, really good. Now, this little challenge here is to see if we can think a little bit about what this monkey is doing. What is he doing? What is he inside? Do you think you can work it out? That's right, he's having a bath, isn't he? He's having a bath. And you might notice the real northern side of your teacher coming out, out here. As I say, bath. And as I have a go at sounding the this word out. So remember, it's my turn first, so you can watch for this part. So I've got that word, bath. Bath. Oh, you can definitely hear my northern, northern accent. I'm going to see if I can segment that word. B 
ta t a t a oh i can hear those sounds and let's have a look here's my word This time it is our turn and we're going to have a go at this all together. Oh, look at this lovely picture. Oh, what do you think is happening here? Maybe have a little talk and a pause at home first. What What's happening here? Why might this be happening here? What do you think? Well done, Ladybirds, for sharing your ideas. So, oh, this is so lovely, isn't it? Look at those lovely smiles. Now, in this picture what you can see is that this little girl is thanking her mummy i wonder what she might be thanking her for what do you think she might be thanking her for what do you think you might thank somebody for can you think well i wonder maybe i think maybe she was thanking her for a really really lovely story that they've read together Maybe you've got other ideas. Maybe it's that she's been uh, really, really thankful because she's been getting a hug. Maybe she's really, really thankful. Um, maybe because she's just had some yummy lunch. Who knows? There's so many things to be thankful for. Now, our word thank, let's see if we can have a go at segmenting it first before we write it down. So get those segmenting arms ready. Thank. Hmm. What sounds can you hear there? Thank. Or I can hear the soft sound. It's not the z sound, it's the soft one. Thank. Ooh, what else can you hear? Thank. Oh, you've got the mmk in there as well, haven't you? Ah, mm. Well, I think I can hear all those sounds. Can you hear them? You might want to have a little pause to do a little bit more segmenting. Think about what those sounds are. See if you can write it down. We're going to do this all together. So pause and do that now. Ah, oh, well done, Ladybirds, for your great effort. Did you have similar letters to me? It doesn't matter if some of your letters are slightly different or maybe if you need to change any, that's absolutely fine. It might be that the end, because we've got this special letter where we've got our k, 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 it might be that you've written it like this. Now that would be a great effort if you've written it like this because you'd be having that um, sound at the end that would make a lot of sense because phonetically that is right isn't it it might be that you've actually oh I know it's a little bit bigger you might have even said oh i think at the end there is going to be another digraph in the word think and that you've got the Digraph. And again, if you've written that down, that would be really, really clever, ladybirds, and very good use of your phonics. Now, the one I've gone for today is this one, and this is how I think this word is written down. But it doesn't matter if you've used a slight different variation, because that would just be incredible phonics. So I've got that. Ah. Okay, ladybirds, get ready for the next one. Oh, now I've already heard myself say this word quite a few times. What's this person doing? Well, they're having a think. Think. Now this one sounds actually quite similar to thank. Think. So I can hear some a few similar sounds in there. See if you can have a go at segmenting it. And this time, all your turn. See if you can do it and write down the sounds. Pause and do that now. Well done, ladybirds. So for think, you might notice that it's actually very similar to thank, isn't it? There's one little difference, I think, which is the it, it, it in the middle. 
Okay, next one, ladybirds. Oh, now I thought some of you would love this one because I know that quite a few children in our class really love the outdoors. They love going outside, love exploring outside. And look at how many amazing little creatures I've found here. Now, what is the, or what are these called? What do you think? What are these called? That's right, they're called moths. That's right. And a moth. Oh, I can hear that soft sound again. Moth. Now, you can see there's so many exciting ones here. There's lots of moths here that I didn't even really know about. Some of these I don't think I've ever seen before. But you might want to pause the video and just have a little chat about these or even come back to this a little bit later because there are some really exciting ones. I think my favourite ladybirds, my favourite one is the lunar moth because I love the colour green and that just looks absolutely beautiful, that moth. I wonder if you've got a favourite one there that you, that you really, really like. So once again, your challenge is to see now, can you have a go at pausing the video, segmenting the word and writing it down. Off you go. Great effort, ladybirds. So we've got the mm, oh, the digraph this time is at the end of the word. Whereas quite a few of our digraphs that we've done so far have been at the start. Final challenge for you today, ladybirds. And oh, look, I've got back one of my favourite pictures again from today's phonics, where I can see that lovely, lovely. Um, um, family together who are obviously feeling very happy there and uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for something. So your challenge for your final challenge is to do one of these things. So you don't have to do all of them but it'd be great if you do one of them. So either see if you can have a go at writing your new grapheme or the hard sound th See if you can have a go at making a sentence, build a sentence up. Um, it might be that you go back to the moths one. You um, think a little bit about some of the favourite, um, about your favourite moth. Or it might be that you have a go at describing a little bit about the moths. Now I've done a sentence where I've written the moth. Oh, the moth. I think I've actually got the hard sound and the soft sound that digraph in there. The moth has wings and in wings I've got the mm sound from phonics last week. So you could also talk a little bit about any other phonic sounds that you notice that start coming into your learning. The final challenge there, and again you only have to do one of these, is you could have a go at making your own sentence um, about Oh, it's not their favourite shop, sorry, that's a slight mistake there. About something you are grateful for. So, it might be that you want to thank someone. You might do, thank you for hugs. It might be that you do that for maybe a daddy, okay? Um... It might be that you are thankful for something else. It might be that, oh, you are thankful for a story, or it might be that you, I mean, there's so many different things you could be thankful for. Um, and again, you might notice one of our animal words there that we've been learning, which is that word, you. Might be that word, you. So, thank you. So, it could be you think, could think about something that you could do a thank you for. Okay, ladybirds, I hope you have fun doing that challenge um, and I look forward to, to another phonic session with you tomorrow on Friday. See you later, ladybirds. Bye.